Hello and welcome back to Small Talk Gamers. I'm Dan and today I'm playing a division and I'm going to show you what happens and what it's like to be a level 30 in this game. Look, we're in the Ubisoft office and there's Bud. <laughs> so yeah, first of all I want to show you what it's like, the difference between level 4 and level 30. I've got a picture, I've, I took a screenshot of when me and my mate met up level 4 for the first time and he got off, do you want you get off the helicopter and you get into New York? Uh, I'll show you that now, this will be on the screen right now. That's us, level 4. And like, if you compare it to now, the difference between then and now, it's quite, it's quite mad. It's cool, like, the difference, like, of your character, what he looks like. So yeah, basically when you hit level 30, you get these daily objectives and these are mine today so you've got one there I've got one there one there they, they're always different so yeah I've got three today and it's they are to complete that mission on hard that mission on hard I think it is yeah and this mission on challenging so yeah when you complete these daily objectives you get Phoenix credits and these, this is a total different credit to what you're used to. So you get Dark Souls credits, you get normal credit, and then you get the Phoenix credit. And the Phoenix credits are used to buy the most advanced weapons in the game. And I will show you this, I'll show you this now. Right here. You need, look, see the Phoenix credits here. There's a different credit, right? You need these Phoenix credits to buy this equipment. And this is the high-end equipment in the game. The yellow's high-end and the purple's like as good as well so yeah you also look and also to buy the um the crafting blueprints you also need this thing credit and when you head into the dark zone and go to the very top safe house there's also a special vendor there and he also needs phoenix credit and he sells the best weapons in the game so basically yeah I just wanted to tell, like, I wanted to show people what it's like to be level 30 and what happens, what you need to do. Yeah, so basically it involves, you get to 30 and then you chase, you chase this other credit, which is Phoenix credit. And then you build up your Phoenix credit by doing the challenging, doing challenging missions and doing the daily objectives. And then you can get the higher weapon, you can get, get the higher equipment, the best equipment in the game. And then... If you want, you head into the dark zone, and I think, I think you can get to level 100 in there. So then you basically go in there and then level up, just grind the dark zone. But I've really found the dark zone quite boring, but that's my personal opinion. So yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it's like to be level 30 and what happens in the game after you basically completed it. So this, so yeah, in my opinion, there's still a lot to do. I can still play this game for a while and still enjoy it. But I probably won't play it as much now. Like, so yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this quick The Division gameplay and what it's like to be level 30. Uh, remember to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye!